All right, with all the videos I've done on player objectives this year, I think it'd be pretty daft if I didn't make a video on this player objective. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to get team of the season so far Grealish as quickly as possible. If this video could get over three likes as well, that'd be absolutely sick. Just, just, just drop a like, subscribe if you're new, all the rest of it, blah -de blah Let's get into it. If you want the cheapest FIFA 20 coins with a ban proof system, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description. If you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Let's get into it. Oh, what is going on, guys? LE96, and so welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, we are going to be doing a video on this team of the season so far, Moments Grealish. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get it as quickly as possible. I've got a squad for you to use. I've got some tactics for you to use. I've got some other players to use if you can't get the players that I've done in my squad. And then we're going to get into a game as well using the squad. So like I said at the start, if you enjoy this video, just drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new, all the rest of it. Comment if you need any help with anything. But we have got ourselves team of the season, Moments. It's Grealish now in FIFA 20. It's a new season as well, season 7. I'm not going to go through all this because that's just not what the video is about. We've got ourselves some nice storyline card. I mean, they're, they're not that nice. I mean, the ones a bit further on are a lot nicer. But realistically, are you going to play to this at this stage in FIFA? I'm honestly not too sure. But regardless, got ourselves this team this season moments Grealish. So, what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to go through all of the objectives. And then we're going to talk about how that you can build a team based around these objectives. I'll show you guys the team to use as well. So, first one is going to be Championship Climber, which is score a finesse goal in two separate rivals matches using EFL Championship players. That one's relatively simple. Just make sure you've got a Championship player in your striker position and your finesse. If you want to know how to finesse, it's just R1 circle. Aim for like the top corner, bottom corner, you'll probably score a goal. That one really is pretty simple. Next one is going to be Fleet Footed, which is assist. Two goals in two separate rivals matches using players with max three star weak foot. So again, making sure that your forward players have max three star weak foot. Don't worry though, I'll show you guys a team that you can use which pretty much utilizes this. Moving into the next one is going to be English Elegance, which again is an assist challenge, which is assist 10 goals with through balls in rivals using English players, which you can actually combine with the fleet footed one and the championship climber because there are actually some English championship players who you could use for this. Again, make a lot more sense when we get into the squad and moving into the next one is going to be Grealish Genius which is score and assist in seven separate rivals wins. I hate these objectives. These are the ones which pretty much take up all of your time using Premier League midfielders with main four star skill moves. So let's jump into the squad that I've come up with for this and we'll run through everything that you need to know. So Let's get into it. So guys, this is the team which I have actually come up with for the Grealish objectives. Now, the main areas that you really need to be bothered about with this are these players here. These seven players from the right mid over to the left mid up to the strikers. Just this little sort of area up here. Your defenders, to be honest, you can use any Premier League centre-backs. It really doesn't matter too much who you use for this. I've just chucked in Shapeshifter Kante, Van Dijk and Gomez. I do have some suggestions, though, on my little notepad for you to use if you can't afford Shapeshifters Kante, Van Dijk or... I'm assuming you can afford Gomez. However, some players that you can use who are sort of middle budget, I'd recommend Laporte, Vertonghen and Alderweireld. They're pretty meta Premier League players. Or if you've really not got a budget, I'd just recommend using Davison Sanchez and John Stones or Rudiger for these two centre-back positions right here. But let's go through all of these players right here and I'll show you guys why I've put them in. I've gone for left mid over here, Marshall, who has minimum four-star skill moves and maximum three-star weak foot, so we can combine those two objectives. Again, I'm done. Bele has the exact same thing and you'll find that with all of these cards here from the Premier League we'll have that little combination of three star week four and the skill moves we've got Phillips in right here again who can help out with that English objectives and with the championship objectives got Rooney in the striker position again English championship what's not to like about him. And then we've also got Rashford as well, who has that maximum at three star weak foot. So I think that is a perfect, perfect buy. Now I'll show you guys the tactics which you can use. If you just want to use this squad, I've got tactics for that. However, if you want to use more of a meta squad, I've got tactics for that as well. So let's jump into these custom tactics. So we're going to be starting off in defensive and you have to change it to defensive because we are going to be changing a few players around. I've gone for pressure on heavy touch because I don't really want this team constantly pressing because I feel like if they're constantly pressing, they're going to get knackered and coming up against the teams that you're going to be coming up against in division rivals at the minute as well with some of the mad teams that are out there you sort of have 
to play pressure on heavy touch rather than pressing. Like for example, with these left mids that I've got over here, I've gone for Martial and Antonio. These aren't the best left mids and right mids. However, this is the sort of cheapest option that you can get these seven players who are going forward. For these left mids, if you do want to upgrade it, I'd recommend to go for Sane. And if you're looking to upgrade at this right mid position, I'd recommend to go for Sterling because they will fall into those categories that we talked about before. Carrying on with the custom tactics though, width is going to be five, depth is going to be four. Not really sitting too far back, to be honest, I just don't see the point in sitting this far back because it invites way too much pressure. And when you've got a team like this, you don't need someone constantly attacking at you. It's just not ideal. I'm going to go for offensive style. It's going to be long ball because I find that this is like a better version of fast build up. I've used fast build up and I just think that it's way too quick. You push too many players too forward too quickly and I think with long ball, it just gives you that bit more time to build up. Width is going to be five because... Why not? Players in the box, again, is going to be five. I don't want everyone committing forward because that's just not what we want with this team. Again, though, if you do want to play a bit more meta, this may be the time it's a bit higher. Moving into the formation, this is how we are going to be lining up. It's going to be left centre-back, it's going to be Kante, Van Dijk in the middle, Joe Gomez on the right centre-back, Deli Elliott and Dombele, Kevin Phillips, or Calvin Phillips, I think his name is in the centre mid positions, then you've got Martial, Rashford, Rooney, Antonio. So you should be getting those objectives done pretty quickly. Moving to the instructions, I'm just going to quickly cycle through them and this is how it is going to be looking. I always go for Y players on the support on crosses to get into the box for a cross because I've just found that it just helps out so, so much when you're doing an attack. Moving into the centre mid, come back on defence, cover centre, stay back while attacking you can basically see just pause at any point in the video and you know what everyone's going to be so that's how it's looking if you want to use the formation just straight off the bat however if you want to do something a bit more meta this is going to be the other defensive tactic if for whatever reason the first one isn't working and you're just struggling with it so it's going to be press after possession loss which sort of contradicts everything that I was saying last time about the defensive tactic. But again, if that defensive tactic isn't working for you, I'd say that this is a bit of a more meta formation and tactic style. Depth is pretty high. Long ball on the players in the box on the width is the tiniest bit higher. Corners is higher as well. If we go over to the formations, Kelvin Phillips or Kevin Phillips or whatever his name is, he's playing at left back. And then we've got Ndombele, Wayne Rooney in the centre mid position. So you could probably change this formation a bit later on in the game once you've started to get whatever it is that you need for the player objectives. Instructions are going to be getting behind and stay forward on Rashford, Martial and Antonio are going to stay forward as well. Got the cam on free roam because I just feel like it just helps out a lot on free roam because he'll help out further back in defending and get forward as well and I've also got to get into the box for a cross on both Lamb and Ram. In the centre defensive mid positions I've just got cover centre on Rooney and I've got aggressive interceptions there but while attacking cover centre on Dombele. Colin Phillips is on overlap rather than stay back while attacking and I've got overlap again so there's going to be at least three people staying back. To be honest I think when you're sort of doing objectives, you have to play the tiniest bit different than you would if you were just going for the win. So let's jump ourselves into a game without further ado and see how this team performs. So let's get into it. All right, let's see the squad we're coming up against. Okay, okay. It's not the best squad in the world. Definitely beatable. Definitely, definitely beatable. That Rooney at the left striker, I'm assuming he's going for the objectives as well. So we'll just have to see what comes of this. So, oh dear, let's get into this. Okay, Phillips coming over. What can we do with it? Phillips is going to walk in. Anybody going to help him out? Please. Antonio. Antonio drags it back. Still Antonio. I mean, I'll go for the finesse. I... <laughs> what? Antonio on this right hand side. Who's going to help him out? Anyone. Anyone. Give me an hand. Phillips. Over to Rooney. I need a three ball. I need a three ball. If anyone wants to make a run, that'll do. That'll do. Ah, there we go, Delhi as well with the the finesse. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm surprised that even went in. I was commentating thinking, oh, something's going to go bad. But there we go, go with Delhi Ali. I think we got the three ball as well. I'm not too sure if it was from a Premier League player or not. But we get the finesse. He's paused it. A, a rage quit will do. A rage quit will do. He's not rage quitting. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. Cool, cool, cool. Rooney. Three ball for Rashford. Drags it back. Ah, uh, edge of the box. Who can I see? Delhi. Through ball. There we go. Rooney with the finesse as well. So championship. I, I don't know. Rooney scored either way with the finesse. And I've got the through ball as well. And this guy's paused it. Go on. 
Give us a rage quit. I'll take a rage quit. That's fine. If you want to go, you go. I'd probably quit as well. I, I, I mean, I probably would. Is this guy going to quit? That's the question. Is this guy going to quit? Oh, no. He's staying. That's fine. That that That's fine. We'll, we'll just carry on. Another before half time. You know, yeah, like another before half time. Rashford. Rashford. Ra uh, uh. <coughs> Ooh. Three. Th th three now. Three. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. And Don Belle, finesse. Oh, damn it. Unlucky Antonio. Antonio, I think I'm using his weak foot at the minute. And he's not very good with it. That's what I will say about Antonio. But then again, he does have three star. But here comes Phillips. Over two. Rooney. Oh, there we go. Back to Rooney. We'll take a finesse. Oh, damn it, man. Oh, it comes back to Rooney, though. Finesse. Antonio still got it. <laughs> Phillips. And Dombele. Rashford. Martial. Ah, damn it. He's got the ball now. And he's going to come forward with Pedro. Whoever this is that I'm controlling, he isn't very good at defending. It was Martial. And Dombele picks it up, though. And then we can launch a bit of a counter-attack. Why is this guy playing such a high line? I can see him on the top of my screen there. I was going for Phillips then, but just locked onto the wrong person. He can come forward, though. But Dombele, again, just sweeps up everything, I tell you. He is so, so good. Try the ball to Phillips there, but I think Phillips is the tiniest bit knackered. So I may even go for the 4-2-3-1. However, Rooney... Goes for the three ball. I was going for Rashford, but that'll do. Rashford's got it. Oh my god, what's going on? That's fine. If I wasn't winning 3 0, I'd be fuming, but here we are. Delhi. Oh man. Oh my god, Gomez. Keep pushing him out. Oh. No, no, no. No, go. No, I didn't want him to score. I wanted the clean sheet. I want another goal, though, just so I can shush him now. Don't make it 3-2. Oh, he's made it 3-2. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> so, we have actually earned some stuff for the season objective. So, let's go and take a look at what we've managed to earn. We've managed to get ourselves the championship climber with the finesse goal. We've managed to get fleet-footed with the assist. We've managed to get an assist of all the English players and we've managed to get Grealish Genius as well. So there you go, lads. That's the quickest way in completing the Team of the Season so far Grealish objectives. I hope that this has helped you out. I'm going to carry on playing these games. I don't really know if I even want to go for him, but I have to make a video on this. He doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I just wish I knew what his in-games were. If there's a way for me to check him without going on fault being through FIFA, just let me know. I'm, I'm trying, but... I don't know. So guys, that's where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I am going to be uploading on my second channel this weekend as well on LE Commerce. So make sure to click the link in the description. Go and subscribe. It's basically my e-commerce channel where I talk about pretty much everything aside from FIFA, like marketing, social media marketing, SEO, drop drop shipping stuff basically. So if you're into that, go and check it out. But this is six. This has been how to complete team of the season so far. Jack Grealish as quickly as possible. And I am off. Goodbye.